Hey guys, welcome back once again. Today, I'm very happy today. Uh, when I'm, whenever I'm happy and inspired, I tend to do more videos and I try to do something that would be useful for people. So I understand I've been doing a lot of initial impressions. I have been doing a lot of reviews, top 10 lists, this and that. But sometimes I do forget that, you know, um, there are a lot of people walking in the new interested parties who are the, like, not to say younger folks, anyone recently getting into a fragrance game, watching these reviews. Uh, they always look for, uh, they don't look for creeds. They, they don't want me to suggest something that is super, uber expensive or uh, super complex in terms of notes breakdown. Um, they look for something that can they, they can start their you know journey with, rather what to collect initially, because you tend to buy all your uh, super popular ones, super hyped ones, super famous ones, that's sheer compliment garners. And uh, then slowly you build your collection, go for more complexity, higher concentration, oud, darker, um, also a bit more uh, rarer fragrances, you know, that niche level. So this idea basically, let me thank uh, Sebastian. Sebastian, I hope I'm saying his name right. Looking, feeling, smelling great. I guess his channel name changed a little bit, but I like his channel a lot. Sebastian is one of the best reviewers, hands down. If I name top five of the current reviewers who are the best absolute, he'll be there top five reviewers he's awesome guy very honest and all his recommendations i take very seriously so this video is inspired by his video that he recommended top 10 uh starter pack for people you know who are starting off fragrances so here you go i have one honorable mention and then i think i have two ties in the list and i do beg your pardon because i believe they are equally important so let me show you my honorable mention that i think everyone must try this this fragrance right here is the definition of clubbing fragrances. This is the one that started the trend. You got Eros, you got Invictus, you got thousand others clubbing fragrances now. Thanks to this fragrance and the love, this fragrance sold one of the highest number of bottles in the whole world. I think you definitely should try one million, no matter how bored you are of it. Let's say people talk about it so common, blah, blah. Trust me, guys, in this category, this smell, this one million, this is one of the best perfumes still. It works better in the cooler weather, it lasts a long time still. But this is one fragrance you must try. If you're in a fragrance journey, if you missed on it, try it at least once. So honorable mention number one, Paco Rabanne, one million. The original one million. <clears throat> so let's start the top 10. Uh, this is not by no means any order or anything. It's just like all 10 random with two ties. So it basically becomes more than 10, but they're in random order. So first two, I'm gonna pick, these two are I think also best sellers. Most of these are best sellers, very popular, and I think anyone who's starting the collection would like to go with something safe, something compliment garner, something smells nice. I think both of them are have the differences, but they're in the same um, like type of fragrances. Okay, so the ones I'm talking about are Bleu de Chanel EDT and Sauvage by Dior. These two from this Chanel and Dior house is absolute best. People often tell you, will tell you like, Blood de Chanel doesn't last, it doesn't, a uh, lot of things they'll tell you. This, you have to remember, it's not a hot weather scent. It disappears very quickly from your skin and your shirt. But nighttime, a little bit cooler, a bit breezy, try this, see how long it lasts. All right, Blood de Chanel, the best smelling fragrances I think I ever sniffed. This is definitely the safest, one of the safest, okay? And if you want performance throughout the whole year, definitely, I'll definitely, hands down, Savage performs better than Blood de Chanel all year round. This stuff, it's so popular in all over the world, people just go and buy and they never regret. If you just want the one bottle, Savage is my recommendation. So number 10, tie between Savage and Blood de Chanel EDT. The EDP of Blood de Chanel is a little bit mature and I don't think everybody would appreciate because it has that seriousness about it. So I'm going with EDT, it's a bit more fun with the grapefruit. Okay, number nine, this fragrance, it's a legendary fragrance and it's from personal sentiments. I am, um, bring it here uh, because this thing i bought five six bottles of it in my whole lifetime and my daddy used it i used it we so far owned like seven eight bottles so i'm talking about house of hugo boss this is the best sense they ever released and now they're having some sort of a uh, newer releases i don't find them that interesting as this one hugo boss boss bottled or boss number six this stuff is a pie it's like this is a fragrance. I used to understand fragrance. When I used to sniff this, I used to think this is what every fragrance should smell like. And uh, this got a little bit dated on it, right? Now got a lot of more interesting and whatever, but this one has the classy feel. You cannot deny every time you spray it, it has a little bit of like longevity problem, 
but if you carry decant and stuff in the office, this is one of the best scents still for the fall time. So I think this is one of the most uh, interesting fragrance as well, but very classy. The apple pie feel, the warmth of it. Women love this. This is very one of the most common fragrances all over the world, but I think you should definitely start with your, uh, no, I mean, start the collection with one of these fragrances. Hugo Boss bottle. And remember guys, one other thing is, this is just one episode. There will be more episodes. Uh, by no means these are all the fragrances that are the top 10 I'm recommending. There are other, many other fragrances you can start your journey with, but I will definitely uh, do another uh, list for that, all right? So next one I'm gonna go with, this one is, uh, I don't think got so much talk anymore. And there's people are with this house of Prada. And people are more with the new Prada Loam. So I tried the Prada Loam. For me, it didn't really perform that much. One thing is very quiet and low. It smells really good, it's safe, nice. But I think the framework they borrowed from this fragrance, you know, same, uh, the perfume who made created this Prada Amber, okay, original Amber, Amber Puram. This fragrance, if you are looking for uh, laundry, uh, fresh laundry, out of the shower, fresh laundry, high class bar of soap. I think this is one of the best ever created in immense, you know, world. Look into this. Before you try Prada Loom, try this Prada Amber. I think this is a must stay in any men's wardrobe, okay? This is amazing. This is, oh yes, the powdery feel, but the dry down gets a little bit more manly, a bit spicy, it lasts a long time. Prada Amber is my next recommendation. After that, I'll suggest two fragrances. I recently got the bit more pricier option, but the one I used to own, it's not that pricey anymore. I'm talking about Versace Puram. This is a must stay. And if you find this a little bit weak on your skin and doesn't last that much, you can go with Chanel Allurum Sport. Either way, both of them have their similarities and differences, a bit more musky, last a little bit longer. This one lasts less, but projects better. Versace Puram is one of my signature scents. Get a 200 ml of this if you have to. This one will bring you compliments after compliments. This is sexiness done in a very subtle way. And this is this is, you guys know, this is like a ar <laughs> Swiss army, Swiss army knife. So yes, something like that. It's a bit more pricey. It's, it's about 100 US dollars still. But if you can afford it, you can buy this. this. These are both worthy of collection. If you want both, you can buy both. This two, I think definitely you can start your journey with. Next one is a masterpiece. I understand this is the most challenging, gonna be in the list for many people to understand and get used to it. But if you wanna learn a complex fragrance, one of the masterpiece ever created from the house of Dior. This is a bit more pricey. Save your money and get this. Even if you don't get it, if you don't like it, keep wearing it. This fragrance is my recommendation to people who are starting their collection. Don't know when they're gonna discontinue this, but this is Fahrenheit. You'll see every reviewer mention this at some point of their lives. This is fragrance, it grows on you. It has amazing reactions, all right? And the complexity of it all, even if they released it today, just like Mark says, it would still be the best seller. If they say this juice, they're giving some new name and they release it from Dior, it would still be the top seller of Dior, all right? One of the most unique, there's some petroleum note, florals, there is also vetiver, I think, there's also leather, who something else. It takes you somewhere else. A lot of fragrances try to copy the violet note of this, but this is the masterpiece, okay? Definitely have Fahrenheit in your collection when you start. Next one, another soapy scent, but this is more like a early morning. And this, I also own the niche version of it, but I think this is the one, it's affordable, from House of Thierry Mugler. I didn't bring any other Mugler that I have. I brought this one because I think this is a masterpiece from the Mugler Cologne line. It's understated. People don't talk about it much, but I think I love this so much. I hold on to this, I'll always have this in my collection. This is uh, fresh citrus, neroli. It has, people say the green and the soapy, or the, you know, like that sort of feel, but I don't get any soapiness. It's pure morning dew with a lot of citrus. Mugler cologne. This stuff lasts like really well for this kind of fragrance. If you haven't tried it, if you skipped it because you thought it's just a clone, smell this. Every time it will transport you to somewhere else, some other world, there's no fighting, there's no war, there's no hatred. This fragrance is pure love pure joy anyone can wear this ladies men it's a universally accepted beautiful juice okay i love this i'm gonna get the big bottle of this definitely have 
this one Mugla Cologne always in your collection before it gets discontinued get a big bottle it's amazing for the hot summer day in the office interior I mean the inside if you're saying home even outside amazing juice Mugla Cologne by Thierry Mugler. now they call Mugle. so I have four left let me go with uh, one of the most safest fragrances ever this is sure to bring you compliments doesn't have the B smooth projection performance but this works I actually was gonna go with the original EDT but I think this is the best performer and the best safest in terms of safe this is the safest Dolce & Gabbana the 1 EDP no need to say much about it if you want to get a little bit of cigar grapefruit booziness if you want to get a little bit of uh, okay not a little bit a lot of compliments this is if you are looking for attention like let's say girls get this Dolce & Gabbana the 1 EDP it's a masterpiece okay the whole line is a masterpiece but this to me you can start your collection with this and you're gonna love the DNA and end up buying other to the EDT and the Royal Knight but this stuff Dolce & Gabbana the 1 EDP I think you can definitely look into your to add to your collection if you don't have it sniff it out Dolce & Gabbana uh, the 1 EDP next one again from house of uh, Giorgio Armani I was gonna go with the original one but that one lacks the performance a little bit and you know people actually like these days bang for buck they look for it so I say this is the one that's bang for the buck all year round hot summer days cooler days you can wear it anywhere Aquatigio Essenza yeah it, you don't hear it that much mentioned everywhere but I tested it thoroughly in Bangladesh the Profumo didn't work for me because it's too cloying for the heat and the EDT is nice but two three hours this thing goes on seven eight hours so Essenza I think you definitely should try with smell wise very very close very close to the original but it has a little bit more oomph to it you know so i think this is this is a winner on the whole line i think i would prefer this over the other two even there's a new release some spicy version but i think this is the one i would go with okay this is what a man should smell like it's pure manliness it's pure manliness sexiness bit of sweaty feel manly sweat nothing bad go some on your shirt some on your neck this is this is going to get you a lot of compliments okay all right the next one okay I have two left I think this is the one I think when I think of nights out this is um, ideal this is what defines night time I will show a lot of other fragrances in my future second part of this video when I upload sometimes but this one I think is must stay this one won the Fifi Awards for the best men's fragrances in one of those years I forgot so it's like winning an Oscar in the fragrance world that is Armani Code this was a winner in our time this one gets the ladies reactions guys if you have to must in the colder nights if you must carry a dick hand if you smell like this you can go with the perfume but that one has a fizzy cola vibe something else going on some sweetness going on this stuff this has um, everything <laughs> I don't know how this works it has a powdery feel it has a bit of I think uh, leather or tobacco <sighs> lot of this amazing notes in this you know the, it the notes break down it's just very complex fragrance it's dark it's sweet it's confident and it's dark night out that sort of sexy sexiness a lot of other flankers you can check out but this one i think you should definitely add to your collection if you just started collecting armani code by george armani and the last one i cannot stress it enough how much i mentioned this in my videos this fragrance if you love aventus if you love armaf house if you love budget fragrances you don't want to pay more than 30 bucks for 105 mil for per se and you want to last make it last whole day Armaf Club de Nuit Intense man this stuff last on my dad whole day he uses this I have this I have the Dubai version I gave him the French made one both of them phenomenal for that in terms of the smell if you want to enjoy luxury you want to smell like Aventus but not exactly like Aventus but it's damn close and you really like to you know project this has the opening a bit of harshness a bit of lemon which is different than pineapple opening of Aventus but this stuff the UA made one you get the definite definite the smoky vibe of the smoky batch of Aventus and the French made one you get the fruity vibe either way cannot go wrong I think Armaf Club in Intense Man is I would highly recommend to start your fragrance journey with so those are my 10 recommendations with few ties do let me know what you think and thanks once again Sebastian for uh, this uh, idea kudos to you and good night from Dhaka Bangladesh bye bye